Happy birthday to legendary hip hop artist, actor, and my favorite member of Wu Tang, Method Man. And happy birthday to Latino rapper and singer Becky G. X Men 1991 back again with another video. Sorry that you guys haven't heard from me for the past two days after doing part 17 of my Let's Play of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Just to let you know, the finale of my Let's Play of Kirby's Return to Dreamland is this Sunday. We'll also be doing a Let's Play of Street Fighter Cross Tekken for the PS3 celebrating 10 years of the game. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the title of this video and just to let you guys know I will not be watching the Rockets for the rest of the 2021-2022 NBA season. Why? Because, it's, don't get me wrong, I love my Houston Rockets, no doubt about it. I love my Houston Rockets, but I'll be damned if I'm going to sit back and continue to watch them suffer game after game after game. The, these niggas can't seem to get out of this damn losing streak. Like, what the hell is the Rockets doing? They went right back to losing game after game after game ever since coming back from the All-Star break. I thought after the All-Star break they would get their shit together, but apparently they have not. Their record right now is 15 and 46. They're the last seed in the Eastern in the Western Conference. So when I heard that they lost to the Magic this past Friday, 119 to 111. I thought they would beat them because I know they beat the Magic. Yeah, ever since they lost to the Magic this past Friday, I'm like, I can't watch the Rockets anymore this season. I mean, I'm not going to watch them anymore personally, but I'm just not going to watch them for the rest of the season because I refuse to watch these niggas suffer game after game after game. So the only NBA teams that I'm going to be watching for the rest of the NBA season is the Lakers and the Heat. And the Lakers are slipping too. The Lakers are now on a three-game losing streak. They lost to the Clippers this past Friday, 105-102. to 102. Oh, you guys are going to laugh your ass off when I tell you this. The Lakers got booed in their own home court by the Lakers fans when they lost to the Pelicans on Sunday. 123 to 95. I'm not trying to laugh, but I have never heard a home team get booed by the fans before in my life. I have never seen that shit happen until now. The Lakers getting booed by their own fans in their own home court. Losing to the Pelicans 123 to 95. And now last night they lost to the Mavericks 109 to 104. See what the record, the Lakers record is now. They're the number nine seed in the Western Conference, and they're 27 and 34. Wow. As for the Heat, they're doing a great job ever since coming back from the All-Star break. They are now on a four-game winning streak, and they're back in the number one spot in the Eastern Conference. They were the number two seed, but now they're back in the number one seed. Tonight, the Heat go up against the defending champs, Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, sir. The Bucks are the number four seed in the Eastern Conference, and the Heat are back to being the number in the number one spot. Let's see. Since coming back from the All Star break. The Heat beat the Knicks on Friday by 15, 115 to a 100. Saturday, they beat the Spurs by three points or by six points, 133 to or by four points or three, 133 to 129, the Heat beat the Spurs. 
or excuse me, they're uh, on a three-game winning streak. I'm sorry, not four. This is after they came back from the All-Star break. They're now on a three-game winning streak. They beat the Knicks on Friday, 115-100. to 100. Spurs, 133-129. to 129. And Monday, they beat the Bulls, 112-99. to 99. Okay, the Bulls are the number two seed in the Eastern Conference. Cool. I figured the Heat, I figured the Bulls was number two in the Eastern Conference, but the Heat are back in the number one spot. They're 41 and 21. So Heat, keep up the good work and continue being in that number one spot in the Eastern Conference. As for the Lakers and the Rockets, y'all definitely need to get y'all shit together. So Rockets, just finish up y'all season and just focus on the postseason. That's all I got to say. So good luck for the rest of y'all season without me watching. But don't worry, I have faith in my teams. Anytime you see me do a Rockets, Longhorns, Astros, or Texans rant whenever they lose a game, I always tell them to don't give up, keep your heads up, get your shit together, and get yourselves ready for your next game. I say the same thing to the Dallas Cowboys, the Heat, and the Lakers. Even though I'm not from L.A. or Miami or Dallas, even though Dallas is in Texas. I tell the Cowboys, the Heat, and the Lakers the same thing. Don't give up. Keep your heads up. Get your shit together. Get yourselves ready for your next game. It's no biggie. You just got to keep working hard in order to win games. In order to go to the playoffs, go to the championship to the championship game. Yeah, I have faith in my teams. I'm not one of those people that be saying, fuck this team, fuck that team. They can suck a you-know-what whenever they lose a game. No, I am not like that. I have faith in my favorite teams. So all the Rockets got to do, just finish up their season, focus on the postseason, and find out what the hell they're going to do next season. Because I'm not watching the Rockets for the rest of this NBA season. I'm only watching the Heat and the Lakers. And hopefully the Lakers can get their shit together too. Also, before I go do my running, I got to talk to y'all about this Major League Baseball lockout bullshit. It's really pissing me off that this lockout of the Major League Baseball is still going on, so... I don't know what the hell us baseball fans going to do until this lockout is over. This Major League Baseball lockout is worse than the NBA lockout from 2011. But at least the NBA lockout didn't last long. It only lasted like for a few months. And then the NBA uh, came back in December of 2011. But this Major League Baseball lockout is driving me and everybody else crazy. Even though I'm not a huge baseball fan, I like watching baseball. I do like watching, watching other teams play besides my Houston Astros. And according to AT&T Sportsnet reporter Julia Morellis, she tweeted that the opening day, the opening season of the regular baseball season won't start earlier than April 7th. So April 7th is when the... Regular baseball season will start, hopefully. I really want baseball to come back. This is the time that they're supposed to do the spring training, but apparently that is not going to happen. So we're not going to have no spring training, which I also call bullshit. But I hope this Major League Baseball lockout shit is over so all the Major League Baseball players can get back on their field because we're all ready for baseball season to begin. We all can't wait for baseball season to begin. So hopefully y'all get y'all shit together and bring back Major League Baseball. If not, then I could try to watch what college basketball or something like that. The NCAA. I know that's going on during March Madness. But anyway, I'm not going to waste my breath taking my anger and frustration out on the Rockets and the Lakers losing and this Major League Baseball lockout. Hopefully my running will calm me down and hopefully a drink of water will too help me maintain my composure. 
So that's going to wrap up my rant that I won't be watching the Rockets anymore for the rest of the season. Just for the rest of the season. I'm still going to watch them, but I'm not watching them for the rest of the season. And my thoughts and opinions about this Major League Baseball lockout. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell. This is going to be in my playlist of not just Rockets, Texas, Longhorns, and Astros, but also in my Lakers Heat playlist since I brought up the Heat and the Lakers. This will be in my playlist of Texans, Longhorns, Astros, Rockets, and Lakers and Heat. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you live in Houston, if you're a fan of the Rockets, what are your two cents about the Rockets struggling this season, just like they did last season? And also, if you're a fan of the if you a fan of the Rockets and you paid your ticket, if you went to the game last night and bought your ticket, I hope you got your fucking refund because it's not worth spending your hard earning money on a ticket that's not even worth it, especially if your favorite team is gonna lose. Just give me your two cents on what do you think about this bullshit Major League Baseball lockout. I will catch you tomorrow for part 23 of my Beavis and Butthead, Daria, and Celebrity Deathmatch rant. Celebrating 25 years of Daria premiering on MTV. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Miami Heat. Go Los Angeles Lakers. And go Houston Rockets.